When you hear the words volcanic eruption, you likely think of Mount Vesuvius that devastated Pompeii in the year 79. Perhaps you also think of the eruption of Mount St. Helens that wiped out 600 square kilometers of Washington state. But did you know that the deadliest volcanic eruption of the 20th century took place on French territory? Coming back from St. Pierre, city completely destroyed by a massive fire around 8 o'clock in the morning, assuming all population annihilated. This was the tragic telegram sent by Commander Labrie announcing to France and to the world the tragedy that played out that morning of May 8, 1902, in St. Pierre in northern Martinique. At that time, with its 29,000 inhabitants, St. Pierre was as populated as the city of Caen in France, and three times more populated than the city of Laval in Quebec. Also referred to as the Little Paris of the West Indies, this city, located on the slopes of Mount Pelee, was known as the economic and cultural capital of Martinique. On May 8th, the hectic life of the inhabitants of St. Pierre was shattered by the awakening of the volcano that dominates the north of the island. At 8.02 a.m., a terrible explosion was heard on the mountain. In a few seconds, the shockwave, followed by a cloud of burning gases rolling down the sides of the volcano, wiped out the city of St. Pierre and its thousands of inhabitants who had never received an evacuation order. However, as the current municipality of St. Pierre indicates on its website, there were warning signs several days before the cataclysm, such as a multitude of earthquakes, mudslides, and ash ejections. But given the eminence of legislative elections and the scientific knowledge of the time, the authorities reassured the population until the end, maintaining that there was nothing abnormal. If it seems easy to cast blame on the political authorities, which we do not do, would it not be important to ask ourselves what role citizens should play when a crisis arises? Because it is difficult to predict when the next pandemic, volcanic eruption, or earthquake will occur, authorities in countries such as France and Canada are emphasizing prevention and encouraging their populations to prepare now for future crises. But how many people really take these recommendations seriously? How many people actually set aside the recommended emergency food supplies? How many people refuse to comply with evacuation measures when they are given by authorities? A proverb full of wisdom cautions, a prudent man foresees evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. It is perhaps this wise principle that saved Mrs. Doris' family from the 1902 disaster. In an interview given to RFO Tele Martinique in 1982, she recounts how her father took the initiative to get his family to safety before it was too late. On May 3rd, when he saw the ash falls intensifying, he had his family board a steamboat bound for Fort de France 20 kilometers to the south. Thanks to this prudent decision, his wife and four children were saved when five days later the volcano wiped St. Pierre off the map. What about you? Will you be among those who are well prepared, those who make wise decisions when the next crisis occurs, or will you be among those who think that everything is under control? If you would like to know more about this kind of topic, please make sure to watch our video, Develop a Family Disaster Plan. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And for more content like this, please visit our website at tomorrowsworldviewpoint.org.